Look at him. Mowing the lawn. What we have here. Fucking hotness. What's up, Matt? What's up, homie? What you got there? Oh, you know, some fancy stainless steel brake line. Oh, yes. Expensive fittings. And what are you doing with that? So today we're going to be attempting to delete this whole ABS unit, put these stainless steel lines in, and possibly run into a hydro in the front. Hmm. Nice. That is disgusting. And so I'm assuming this is all going to get rerouted? Yep, so we're going to take all these out. We're gonna make sure we tee the three front brake lines and then the two rear. We're gonna go straight out of here with these little fittings right there. Then we're gonna put those fittings connected to those. These ones on the end of this hose and then splice them all together so that it all bypasses that ABS unit. Okay, for sure. Okay, we're gonna run the stainless steel brake line underneath the carpet all the way down to the center console right to the side of the driver's seat. We're gonna use these 90 degree fittings to go into the hydro, feed the stainless steel line all the way back to the uh, firewall right there so that it'll all be looped together and then it'll be my inline hydro setup. Nice. This bad boy is gonna sit right here. We're gonna Next. cut and weld a plate right into the trans tunnel. Plate it right here. These are gonna go back over here, straight into the carpet, all the way to the back, and that's gonna be for my hydro sits. Junk out of there. So much more room for activities. <laughs> Got it all labeled, but it's fucking. You know, all the brake cleaner. Brake fluids. This front rear, again. front rear, front rear. Anyways. Don't dab it. Oh, it's just front rear, front yeah, rear. front rear, front rear. But how do you know if it's like front? Is it is it left or right by it? It doesn't matter because it's gonna be teed. Uh, all three fronts are gonna be loose together. Cool, got nice. All the fittings put in there, nice and labeled. Super solid, getting the line all ready to go. Just gonna run it from the front to back, take some measurements, and then go from there. Update, we had a little bit of an issue. Uh, somehow the stainless braid steel line, or stainless steel braided line, was sitting on the battery and was just completely cooking it. Matt burned his hand grabbing it, not realizing that it was sitting there. He didn't know. So, so now we just got to figure out exactly how much length it's got to go from the hydro to the original spot that it's going to get hooked up to because now he's missing a good chunk of line from where it's burnt. So you can see like right here it's kind of discolored and it goes all the way down to here so we're probably not going to be able to use that part but we'll see. 
looking good, homie. Yeah, right there, you can see it freaking melted my skin. Yeah. But he's determined, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get it going. We'll see how it goes from here. This high, dude. I have to like make like a step. Maybe will like a plate going straight up, straight off the corner, then the plate sideways, and then the gusset. Mm hmm. To bring it right here. It doesn't have to be like parallel. Yeah. It can be just like that, like leaning like, back. Yeah. Like, can it lay flat? That way, when we. This is flat. We can do it flush like that. So that leaves enough room right here. Still leaves enough room for this. Yeah, right there would be they're probably gonna down. have to take that black uh, bracket out anyway. But so if it goes right it. there, I'm not gonna be able to run the trim. Well, just cut the trim. It's right here. Now okay, our what is? Got our base plate. With the nut certs already in there, holding it down and ready to go. Gonna weld the base plate to the trans tunnel, like so. It's about like that. A little harness in the way, but we'll make it work. It's just gonna lay flush right about there. Remember, when you're welding, don't forget your rod. Dude, you know what I'm gonna do? Oh man, this is gonna be fun. All right. I'll be like hitting the gas pedal. The battery's disconnected? Nope. We got this. Ready? Yep. Oh, shit. We have contact. Oh, that's the money shot right there. That's the money shot. That's attack. That's attack. So I just gotta make sure it's up straight and yeah, go ahead, dude. Let it roll. <laughs> were, you, were you able to redo the inserts? Yeah, I had to cut those two off, and then I redid them. I put it, I threaded the thing all the way inside, and then I only did like like a quarter freaking thing until I saw all the wrinkles go away from the thing, and then I stopped. What are you loving? Huh? What's he loving? The bracket I made that had the zerts in it oh, onto the transfer. All nice and neat in there. Just gotta put the console back on. Get it all threaded in there. Looks like it's got the 90 ready to go. And that one. Running up behind the seat. What are you doing back here? Just finishing putting up this other rear one on so I can go ahead and finish mounting it to my body and run to the hydro and once that's completed then i can finish putting the trim back together and then complete the front ones which all these just get teed together so super easy you know why do they get teed together just because so the front left front right and then the front crossover so we just got a i got a black little t that's going to be in the center this one's going to go straight up to it and these are going to 90 degree into the black t and it's just going to sit right here so all the front brake fluid just goes through each other okay is this gonna affect your foot brake at all? Uh, it will slightly just because it's an inline hydro anyways. Because the rear brakes are going straight to the hydro and throw the hydro back in through the rear, where the rear brake is. So when you pull the hydro, it's only gonna do the rear brakes though, right? Yep. Nice. Dinner all finished up? Yep. Almost done, just gotta finish tightening all these. Put the little braces to hold it all right there so it looks all nice and neat. Then we'll be all done, then we can just bleed the brakes and should hopefully be done by 30 more minutes. 
Yes. Oh, nice and neat, buttoned up. Just need to bleed the brakes now, right? Yep. Cool. There it is. All nice and neat. Still got the center console. Just kind of cut up a little bit. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, Bob. Pretty nice. Got it all plumbed and tucked right there. You don't see you don't see anything. Let's uh, pop the hatch. Yeah, that's where they are. All nice and neat. So what did you tap into? What did you tap into to the rear one? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just go ahead and comment below if you guys want to see anything else you saw in the video that you wanted to see more of or something that we didn't do that you wanted to see. Just go ahead and let us know. I'm trying to do my best at this shit. Alright? Say bye. Bye. Say bye, Matt. Deuces.